Welcome to the town of Hara, the largest out of seven districts in Iloilo City. It is once a separate city until it merged with Iloilo City in the 1940s during the American administration in the Philippines. The district of La Paz and the municipalities of Liganes and Pabilla are parts of Haro before they became independent. The name of Haro is Castilianized. The true name of Haro is a log, which means river, and also to deepen, to dig under, to go deep in the stream, etc. The river that baits the town and passes behind the municipal hall is named Salog. And from here, the town gets its name. Haro is composed of 42 barangays. Barangay Arguiles, Balabago, Balantang, Benedicto, Bitoon, Buhang, Buntatala, Kalubihan, Kamalig, Claudio Castilla, Cortero, Kubay, Democracia, Dungon A, Dungon B, Fajardo, Habiliana, Lanet, Libertad, Santa Isabel, Lopez Haina, Luna, MH Del Pilar, MB Echenoba, Ma Cristina, Muntenola, Our Lady of Fatima, Our Lady of Lourdes, Quinten Salas, Sambag, San Isidro, San Jose, San Pedro, San Roque, San Vicente, Seminario, Simon Nedesma, Tabuk Suba, Takas, Tagbak, Tai Tai and Unka. The district is located just north of the city proper with its center, Plaza Haro, around 3 kilometers from the provincial capital with a population of approximately 130 to 700 and a land area of 27.48 square kilometers. Haro is well known for being the turntable of land transportation to northern, western, central, and eastern Panay. Thus, delivery of goods made win way in the town as a transit area. The sugar boom made riches that earmark the rise of affluent old rich Harino families. Haro has its own old municipio, a plaza, a church, and even its own marketplace. Haro Church is the famous parish of Our Lady of Candles, also known as the Haro Metropolitan Cathedral, the headquarters of the Archdiocese of Haro and the site of a mirac miraculous statue of the Virgin Mary, which has canonically crowned by the late Pope John Paul II during his visit in 1982. The image is the only religious icon in the country to have been personally crowned by a Pope. Haro's celebration of the feast of Nuestra Señora de la Candelaria, Our Lady of the Candles. Every February 2 is well known in the Philippines. The fiesta features pageantry with a fiesta queen from one of the prominent families of the place. A cockfight at the Ililio Coliseum where cockfighting aficionados from all over the Philippines converge. The district is notable for its large amount of 19th century architecture. Haro is also the hometown of Graciano Lopez Haina, who along with Jose Rizal established the Ilustrados, a group of Filipino students studying in Spain Straddling the main plaza is the antique Haro Cathedral and the Palacio, the Archbishop Residence. Majority of the mestizo families from Iloilo came from this town. Being once a center and main port during Spanish period, most of Hispanic traders married the natives and settled in the island. Anyone flying in from Iloilo will most likely be carrying that ubiquitous white pasalubong box emblazoned with the red logo. Filled with local confections, Haro is the home of the original Biscocho House where tourists come to hoard their signature Biscocho. Crispy buttered toast sprinkled with sugar, pinasugbo, thin slices of caramelized native banana sprinkled with sesame seed and barquillos, tin and crispy wafer rolls that Pinoy's love to pair with ice cream.
The most renowned hero of Haro is Graciano Lopez Haina, who is a journalist, great revolutionary hero, and orator. He is also known as the founder of the fortnightly newspaper La Solidaridad. He is a part of the triumvirate of Filipino propagandists alongside with Marcelo H. Del Pilar and Nusarizal. The Haro Plaza, where you can find a statue of him, was renamed Graciano Lopez Haina Park. In honor of him, Grishana's birth anniversary is commemorated with a public holiday in the whole Iloilo province. There are a lot of historical landmarks aside from the Haro Metropolitan Cathedral. There is the Lizarro's mansion that was constructed in 1939 by the family of Don Emiliano Lizarro's. The grandiose mansion sits on a sprawling estate along the highway in the Waksuba Haro during World War II. The Japanese forces occupied the house and used the basement as prison. Another is the Casa Merkit, which is the ancestral home of Merkit Helena Lopez that was a traditional Bahai de Bato, whose posts were logs from hardwood trees filled with from nearby forests. The posts were enclosed with a skirt of masonry of red clay, bricks, and lime mortar. Next is the Lopez Heritage House or Mansion de Lopez or otherwise known as the Nellis Gardens which is a national heritage house built in 1928 by an Ilongo statesman Don Vicente Lopez and his wife Doña Elena Jofelena. The mansion was named after the couple's eldest daughter Nelly Lopez y Jofelena. Due to its grandiose architecture Highlighting the province aristocratic past, it is regarded as the queen of heritage houses in Ililo. Another one is the Municipio de Haro, which is a heritage building that previously served as the seat of government of the Haro former city of Haro in Ililo's province, as prison. Lastly, the Haro Belfry, Campanario or bell tower, which is a given fixture of every Catholic church. It houses the bells, which basically tool the hours, call the people to mass, and announce important events. During the Spanish times, the belfry also served as watchtower against invaders. Such was the case of the Har belfry, built around 1744, made of bricks and limestone blocks. It was a three-story tower, 29 meters high, on July 17, 1787, the Campanario was severely damaged by a strong earthquake. Reconstruction only began in 1833 under the supervision of an Augustinian friar, Father Jesse Alvarez. Thank you for watching.